as for question 3 we have a curve c with an equation y is equals to 3x plus 16 divided by x square minus 8 so they have given us two point point p 1 11 and then q 4 and 5 uh, it lies on c that means this is p and this is q the region r shown shaded in figure 1 is bounded by c and line segment pq that means this region use algebraic integration to find the area of r so we have to find the area of this region as for doing this uh, we can do this in two ways the first way is linear which is to find the equation for the line segment pq as we have two coordinates and then integrate it to find the whole area then direct it by the area found by the curve to find the region r so we don't have to do that as it is very lengthy and it will be a waste of time so we can do a easier way as you can see this right here this figure it's a trapezium right as it is a trapezium we can use the formula half a plus b minus by h this is the area of a trapezium so we can find the whole area by the line segment by this formula right here so if we do this area 1 is equal to half a plus b multiplied by height so which is the height height is this part right here and then a should be this part right here and then b should be this part right here so the length of a as it is vertically up should be 5 and same for b which would be 11 and as for height as it is horizontally uh, so it should be 4 and then minus 1 as it is from here to here half 5 plus 11 multiplied by height so we can do this by using a calculator which will give us 24 so we found the area uh, bounded by the line segment pq so we have to find the area of the bounded by the curve as for a2 uh, we can write the range which will be the x coordinates 4 and 1 and then the y equation which is 3x plus 16 divided by x square minus 8 dx so now we have to integrate this to integrate this we can write it in a form like this one 3x plus 16 x to the power minus 2 as the x square goes there minus 8 then dx so we have to integrate this at first we have 3x if we want to integrate this as it is 3x that means x is a power of 1 so to integrate this we have to plus 1 so it will be 3x then 1 plus 1 is square and then divide the whole thing with the new power so same for the next one 16 so we have 16 x to the power minus 2 and then we have to add 1 so this is 16 x to the power minus 1 divided by the new power which is minus 1 and then this should be minus 8 x and then the range 4 and 1 then the second range this is the first range then minus the second range which will be 3 by 2 1 square plus 16 1 to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1 minus 8 and then 1 so this one right here should give us minus 12 and then this minus should be written here and then this whole thing should give us minus 45 by 2 so we can just calculate this which will give us minus 12 plus 45 by 2 is 21 by 2 
So now we have to find the area of R. And to find the area of R, we have to deduct A2 from A1. So A1 minus A2. So A1 is 24 minus A2 is 21 by 2. So this should give us the area of R. Which is 27 by 2. That is our answer. 27 by 2 unit square.